Welcome back to Triple R, we're going to look at views. Today we're going to take a look at Snake Eyes Dungeon. It's a small indie game. Uh, I got it off Steam for like 50 cents. Or 49 cents. Um, it's free on your phone, I think. It's pretty fun. It has a nice retro feel. Actually, I'm going to hit play because the thunder and lightning is loud. So as you see on that first page, you can do upgrades and there's like a little mission thing. It's very simple. Here's the board layout. It's randomized. Uh, you're going to see things like um, vampires, ghosts, uh, Frankenstein monster. This game came out in 2017. Its uh, developer is Tedabester, published by Grab the Games, Tedabester Inca Games. Uh, Alright, so tap here, pull the dice to where you're trying to get to. Here's the exit, and your start point. Click one of the four options. So let's go down. So that hole means you can't go back that way. Let's go over here. Got a monster encounter. Now we got the ghost. If you roll snake eyes, you do an instant kill. His life is 12. His attack is 2. Your life is 25. Your attack is what you roll. If you want to try to run, 5, 6, 7, Eight or five, six, seven, eight, or nine. We'll let you escape. Right, we're gonna fight. In this game, you attack, the attack, you attack, the attack. That's that's how it goes. You get your loot. <clears throat> you have a loot uh, list here. What you roll? Um, three, two coins. That's, that's a good thing. You can buy potions for health, bombs, insta kill. Not sure what the skeleton is. So you're looking for the key. You just have to get out, so, and then you can open the door to get out. Right. Got some health back. All right, so the vampire is big, 35 health. You don't know their attack. Just, you know, loot rolls and then vampire rolls. Or own dice. You get these effects. The dice are down here. Uh, it's running at 2, 3, 11, or 12. Mm -hmm. 25, 35. We're going to try to attack so we can do so much damage. Yeah, so it's not great. There's a little whirlwind, teleport you to different places on the map. So we got a mummy, we have 6 life, 15. Hopefully we'll get an instant kill. And we did not get an instant kill. We're gonna die. <laughs> so game over, option thing. Let's go one more time. You can do upgrades. Acquire artifacts somehow. Mission list. Right, here's our exit. Start point. Let's go to it. There's Frankenstein monster, 28, 4 attack. So I think he's the second biggest monster. I think the vampire is the is the boss. Um, it's hard to run though, 2, 7, 12, not great. Also no instant kill it looks like. So 
We have the exit key, but we only have three life. Got my potion. We'll try to make our way to the exit. Like a mummy again. So we're gonna drink our potion. Get seven life. I mean, five, six, seven, eight. It's a good chance we could run. Um, let's see if we can get into this escape. Okay, eight. That's good. So the monster does stay there. Yeah, six, seven, eight. That's not what we want. Let's see. That's four damage, and we only can take three hits. So that's all it really is to the game. So I'm gonna try to make a get a quick win. So. <laughs> that's that's not good. Um, try to run. I've noticed in this game, like, whenever you try to run, it doesn't, it ne almost never works out. Okay, lost all my life. Another monster. Probably the mummy. No, it's Frank, so... He just screwed. Snake eyes, but Frankenstein doesn't die that to snake eyes. Three or well, three. Monsters in every room, I guess. Really, another guy? There is a secret boss. I don't know what that means. I got 330 coins. I can upgrade stuff. You know, a thousand to upgrade your attack, which is a lot. Uh, you know what? You can just start out with the key. So I'll grab the key. Go for the best here. Almost uh, as far as you can get. Oh, it's not as easy you buy a key. Okay. Hopefully 
Is this a ghost? Should be good. It's not a whirlwind. Alright, so we got Dracula and we got a vampire. I, I don't know if it's gonna insta kill. Let's gonna try it. Yeah, there we go. 88 coins. Keep that. There we go. There we go. There's some coins. There is Snake Eyes Dungeon. Okay, so the good and the bad. Uh, give it like a score, one out of ten. I give it a six point five. The good things are it's cheap, if not free. Nice art, uh, short burst gameplay. It has a like, retro feel and sound. It looks good. Some of the bad things are it's random dice rolling for everything. Uh, very limited character customization, and the gameplay actually can get old kind of fast. Like Playing the three games, I was like, I was ready to quit. But it's nice to just pick up and play. Play like one or two and, you know, you're done. 